And then we found you're an NPR. No, I'm just so. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to extend your knowledge on page 56. So we're gonna build this, need an escape. Do not get on a cruise liner because they'll blow up, roll over, or catch on fire and you'll get the flu. But that's what they want us to do here. I'm trying to get my wife to go on a cruise. She just doesn't want to. Oh yeah, and I'm sorry, we're not gonna start up Word. We're gonna open up that one again, right? Open. Removable disc. That's where mine is. Chapter one. Extend your knowledge. Cruise. Look at this. It's already practically done for us. We just have to fix some stuff, right? Okay, so to complete this assignment, we're going to have to use that data file. We're going to open up this document. We're going to enhance the look of this flyer. How did you get that? I went and said open. I went. P101, the Word folder, the Chapter 1 folder, the Extend 1 1 TVC Cruise Flyer. That's good, right? Set it all. Now, we could perform the following tasks and hit Help. If we want to hit Help in a shortcut key, what would we do? No. Starts with an F, ends in a 1. F1. F1. Brilliant. You guys are so good. We can hit F1 and it would bring up help, but we don't need to do that. We can actually come over here. We can actually just click this little uh, question mark button. If we want to, we don't want to. We can go in there because I'm going to explain it to you. But we can go research all these different points. So the first thing we want to do is to remove the bullet from the paragraph below the picture. Darn bullet. I'm just going to triple click it. Notice up here that the bullet is highlighted. Check this out. All I have to do is unclick it. Ah! No bullet. Bullet no mas. Didn't work. Did you triple click it? You click the bullet up here. This bullet. And it didn't work. We call that user error around here. Okay. My wife, whenever she says, no, it doesn't do that. I'm like, no, you're not doing it right because it's a computer and it's dumb. Garbage in, garbage out. That's what happens. Do you get mad at you after you say that? No, she's a very patient woman after 14 years. So she knows that I'm kidding. I very, very rarely say anything like that with a serious look in my face because I know I will get slapped. No. <laughs> she has me very well trained. That is what we call? User error. User error. No, it's not. <laughs> Tracy's like, move. You guys ever see that SNL skit with the computer guy? Move. <laughs> he sits down like, I can't do this. Move. <laughs> move. Okay. So we've got that right there. What else did it want us to do? Remove the bullet. We did that. Select the text, 10%, and use the grow font button to increase the font size, which is that A with the little up arrow on it. So I'm going to hit shift and right arrow crossed. And then I'm going to use this little grow button. Whoop. Whoop. It's like Mario. Whoop, 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 whoop. We need a fire flower. So it increases the flower. I just bumped it up to 26. It didn't give us anything in particular. Okay. Now this is the part everybody always gets freaked out about. We're going to we're going to add a page border that's art. Okay. Anybody in here watch The Office? Your art is the best art of all the art. <laughs> like one of my favorite lines in that whole show. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to add a page border, which is under page layout right here. We come down to this little section right here, page border. And normally, we could just put a line in here and it would give us like a whole line around the page. But we're not gonna do that, we want some art. So we're gonna come down here to this art section. And it doesn't tell us what art we want to use, right? Mm -hmm. It just says add some art. Is it ice cream? I'm going to use cake. Let them eat cake is what I say. So this is the best way to make your flyer look like it was created in 1995 through Borderlands <laughs> Print Shop. Okay? If you weren't alive in 1995, 
That's why I feel old now. So wow. we've got a cake border now. Oh, cool. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah. It looks all delicious now. <laughs> Yummy. But we might need a, a, an escape bar. <laughs> well, we can change that. Okay. Hmm. But I'll do that last, right? Well, yeah. You can use stars. You are a star. So I used cake. You can use whatever you want. Now, if the border is not in color, add color to it. We used color because we got cake there, right? That's good. <coughs> now let's change the solid underline below the word cruises to a decorative underline. Change the color of the underline. So this cruises over here. I'm just going to highlight it. We're going to go back over to home. And we can click this little down arrow next to the underline. And it gives us all these underlines here. I can pick whichever one I want. I'm going to go ahead and click more underlines just to see what we got here. Uh, let me see. No, no. I'm going to hit cancel. Sorry. I, I'm going to just go down to, I'm sorry. I'm going to go down to one of these here. And I think the one I want is going to be this one. I got my little squiggly. So it looks like it's almost misspelled. This is how you can pull a prank on somebody, is you can put it in red, and they'll look at it like, oh, I misspelled cruises, and they can keep trying, and it won't ever go back. Because <laughs> a red squiggly line means what? Uh, green squiggly line means? Grammar. Grammar. Blue squiggly line means? It means it could, it, could, it could be wrong. It's yeah. saying like it might be its, and it might need to be it with an apostrophe S or something. They're not sure, so that's blue. What is the pink squiggly line? There's no such thing. Ah, there you go, Sandra. She's so smart. It's like, I don't know. There's no such thing. So that's good. So we got cruises. Just change it to a decorative one. And yeah, change the color of that underline. I made it red with a squiggly. We want to, we've already done the border and we did an art border. So I'm not going to change the border again says to change the border. I'm just going to leave this one. But now in the picture, it says we want to do a different picture style. We yes. You got to go down here. Clear underline color. That's all right. I highlighted it and how do I undo the highlight? You just click anywhere else on the screen. Well, look, but it's not going away. I highlighted All right, so we've all figured out how to do an underline color. Brilliant. Now, when I click on this picture, notice I get my picture tools. This format bar comes up. So I can click on format, and now it's asking me to change this from the picture style I have to, uh, let's see here. Change the style of the bullets in the, oh, to picture bullets. I apologize. Let's go over here. This is fun. I like picture bullets. So we're going to highlight all of our bullets here. So we've got all these five bullets highlighted. We're going to come up here and we're going to click this down arrow again for more options. And we can do any picture bullet we want. I'm going to go ahead and just pick, I don't know, this little diamond star thing. Yeah, we can go actually, we can define a new bu bullet. We can actually go pick up a picture anywhere in the computer and use it as a bullet. But I'm going to use this diamond because it sparkles like Bianca's eyes. Stop. Okay. So we did that. And now, now I can go change my picture. So I'm going to click on the picture, click on my format, and over here under picture effects, I can click on this and it, we can stack picture effects. And we'll learn about this more as we go through a bunch of these programs. But we can actually put a shadow and a reflection, all that stuff. But I'm just going to add a shadow. And the shadow I'm going to add is notice if I, as I highlight over it, sorry, uh, shadow. So 
that I highlight over it there, it drops it down and we can barely see it. I'm going to click off the picture. We can kind of see that there's a shadow down there on the bottom right now. We can change the color of the, the tone of this. Now we used to in Word and in PowerPoint, we talked a lot more about this in PowerPoint, but we used to have to take everything out of Photoshop. Like we'd put it into Photoshop and change the way the picture looks. But Microsoft's given us some pretty cool tools that we're using now. So we can come over here to corrections or color. I think we could do color here. And notice that we can change this color tone to make it more vivid. Like this would be kind of an HBR view of this. I'm going to go ahead and use this color, this far right color tone. Now, temperature of color, this 4700K and 1120K is just like white light and yellow light, right? It's more white light applied to the picture. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. It's more of a yellow light applied to the picture. So it's kind of dingy now. I don't know. I, don't, I think it was better before, but we're going to leave that there because they want us to do it. And we are going to go up to File, Save As. At the beginning of this file, we're going to put in here our names, Mr. Greer. Save. Um, and we're done. Wait, okay. So I want to change the coloring. Can I go to artistic effects? You're going to go to, is there a color, color? up there? Mm hmm. Let me go in there. So you format, you can go to color. You could do artistic effects if you wanted. I mean, these are all just different things. You can put sepia in here, oh, no, there. Just making it look like it's the Titanic. Save as. 